Right, well, here we are. This is the Nitro Surge review for Guinness. Obviously, a newly released device and can in the UK. Nitro Surge. Yeah, so it's, it's been out in Ireland, Sean, yeah. for about a year, about I think. About a year, yeah, I think so. We were lucky enough to visit Ireland some time ago, so we snapped ours up as soon as they were available. So they're great, but we're just doing this little demo, really, to introduce it to you guys now in the UK that also will be able to get this in your local supermarkets very soon. Yeah, so let's not wait around, Sean. Let's get yeah. in there. So they come in this smart little box. Cool. In the old box. You get the little charger inside it, little brush to clean the spout. Um, full instructions of how to use it. So if you follow the instructions, you can't go wrong. So we've got a little, a little spout that attaches onto the end of the device. And then obviously, next step, open your can. Open your can. No big surge there, so, you know. Yeah, the widget is not in these ones because this does all the work for you. So pop it on, obviously, over the can hole in, in line. Like so, make sure it's on properly because you don't want any spillages. That's fine. And then press the on button on the back, which is located right there. Little button, press it on. Your little heart then will light up to show you that it's actually activated. Tilt your glass. Pour like you would pour a normal pint of Guinness. Hear that? Shh. Do you hear that? And again, that's the Nitro Surge working. Sean, I've got no bubbles. You've got a few bubbles going on here, oh, I've Sean. I've got bubbles. You need to tilt it more, I think. You it's just, reckon? You know, it's, all, it's all in the tilt action. It's all in the pour, isn't it? So, so there we go. I'm going to leave mine now to, to settle at the harp. I've not been very good at doing these, but Charlie is the master at this. I think he's drank more. Oh, yours looks really good. Oh, I'm not showing mine just yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you never know that sometimes it will sell. yeah we'll see i'm confident yeah but it will sell no they're looking nice sean they're, yeah i love that surge it just looks great doesn't it yeah that's just i know you shouldn't really move it when it's surging but in mid pour oh but there you go that's great doesn't it looks lovely come on settle baby so yeah so the the wonder of the nitro surge it's a bit of a mystery really mm. i went on the guinness website um to kind of see what it's actually doing um, and it says uh, ultrasonic yeah. nitro surge, basically. So it activates the nitrogen in the Guinness um, yeah. and obviously surges it other than like a widget or, you know. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think they want to give all the secrets away because there are impersonators out there, particularly, unfortunately, from China where they created a device that's very similar. Um, we've seen people demonstrating that. But this is the real thing. This is, you know, the device... Yeah, it's Guinness. It's authorized, and we prefer to use yeah. it. Yeah, and it's also worth to say as well the cans. These are special nitro surge cans. Yeah. So um, they basically they've been designed specifically for this device. There are other cans out there. There's the Surger cans, which I think might be getting discontinued. I don't know. Yeah. But they're like the silver looking can, yeah. which um, people can use. But I find there's a bit more of a tinny taste to them in there. Yeah. I generally think the ones that are made for it are the best, but obviously a bit, they more, are the more, bit more pricey. Yeah. They are the best. You can actually use an ordinary uh, draft can if you use a pin prick, but it's a little bit complicated, difficult yeah. to do, and not quite the same. But no, for people that can't get hold of these, I know that that's what they've tried. Yeah, because um, these as well, um, the mill in this is 558 mil, yeah. which is more than a, 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 the other cans. So yeah. they put a little bit more in there so you can get the dome. So don't press the button, apparently. That's the instructions from Guinness. So let's see if we can try and get a dome here. Oh! Fuck yes. Jesus, Sean. Yes. You've got more of a dome than me again. Yes. If anything, you've got too much or you've got a bit of leakage. Leakage. Don't tell the people at home. <laughs> Slightly overdone oh, it. But that's the oh, thing. Dear. So apparently they put more in it than you might need. Because it depends on how you, you cool your, your Guinness. Yeah. If it's slightly warmer, it it's it will yeah. overflow. If it's slightly colder, maybe this one for some reason That's was... looking better now. So this is looking, I dare say, like the perfect pint. The yeah. head is looking great. Not a single bubble in the head, Sean. We've got a lovely dome. That Look at that. A very, very creamy dome. It's looking creamy. Oh, I'm jealous. So, I mean... Mine's not too bad. Yeah, slightly over... Filled it maybe just a little, but do you know what? 
I'm not going to cry about that. Slauncher. Slauncher. Let's have a go at this. Oh, oh he's only gone and split the G, lads. Oh. He's only gone and bloody split the G. Split the G. Well, Charlie, I'm slightly off splitting the G because I just pulled back after that four and a half gulps. And that's the secret guide to splitting the G. Four and a half gulps. Yeah. Get it right. Don't overthink it. And you'll split the G. Oh, I'll tell you what, though. That is... Oh, it's it's nice. creamy. Isn't it? It's Very really creamy. creamy. Mm. And that's what you've got to give that over... Any normal draft can, this has got to be... It's ten times creamier. Yeah, yeah. It's compared to a pub pint, you know, this is the closest you're going to get, sat at home watching the football, the rugby, to a pub pint, seriously. Yeah. It's and far better. Sadly, Sean, it is better than a lot of pubs in the UK. Yeah. yeah. It is. It's creamier than a lot of pubs. Let's go for another. Oh. Right, so I'd say, flavour-wise, it is good. It yeah. is good. It is very Definitely. good. I think there's still that slight hint of it coming out of a can, which, you know, I think... In, you can't in, get rid of that. Yeah, it's but a, tin. a lot it's less, tin. though, than the, than the normal draft Definitely, can. A lot yeah. less of that flavour. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's close to the pub pint, Sean. Yeah. It is in the UK anyway, but, you it's know... It's as close as you're going to get. And it's a better head than an ordinary can, and it's a better head than a lot of pub pints yeah. so the head on it certainly they've cracked that yeah. however they've done that they've, they've cracked it and at the end of the day a lot of Guinness drinkers now we're after a dome and yeah. sadly a normal can ain't giving you a dome but this means you can yeah. bring the dome <coughs> home hashtag bring the dome home to be fair the, the zero Guinness <coughs> I've had a couple of those now and you can get a bit of a dome on them you know yeah, so it's weird. I don't know whether, whether they put a little bit more in it because that, really, that's surely all it is—is yeah. is just putting a bit more Guinness in your pint. But yeah. it's no, no. a lot to do with no, the no. pour. So pour and the head. You've got to have a, a substantial head to get a dome and for it to stay there. As you saw mine, I slightly overdid it, and it started trickling down the side. This is also great if you're a walker and you like walking over the hills and the mountains, and there's no pubs anywhere. Take one yeah. of these with you. Pop, pop it in a cool bag. Yeah, a couple of cans. Yeah, you sorted. There's a little bit of lacing on this. Obviously, we've we've just washed these, so they're they're quite wet glasses. The glasses so, are wet. Yeah, so yeah. obviously that doesn't help with it with the lacing. But yeah. uh, you know, so that being said, it's still decent. It says on my glass, I could drink this all day. The Guinnessers. Oh, that was a present from my daughter. Well, John, the question is, could you drink it all day? I could if I'm at home. Yeah. 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 If there was a pub, I'd still. I still prefer to go to the pub for the crack, you know, for the socialising, yeah. for the atmosphere. Yeah. But sat at home, with watching a couple of the lads, rugby. watching the rugby, this is going to be it. That's going to be my drink for the uh, Six Nations, certainly. Yeah. Let's have a bit more, and then we'll um, we'll give a bit of a review, a bit of a score, as if we're sat in a pub now. So right. imagine you're in a pub, yeah. and you get served that. What are you scoring it? Okay. Oh, it's a creamy finish, Sean. It's a creamy finish. You can tell it's not from a like a you know a pub keg. You can tell there's something there's something missing. I don't know what it is. There's something missing. But dirty glass, maybe. <laughs> That's usually what's missing if you go to the pub. No, yeah, no, yeah, that was a clean glass. To be fair, it was clear. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's there's still it's not quite there with with the pub pints. Um, it's got that slight tinny flavour to it, but the creaminess is great. Um, so yeah, would recommend go get them. Obviously, they're yep. in the, in the UK. They have been released through the Guinness website. I think you can get on the store, right. but they're quite, quite expensive. Yeah, but they are a bit pricey. I think you need to get like a, a pack bundle. It's like seventy quid for the, the device, a uh, pack of cans, and you get a couple of glasses. Yeah. But yeah, uh, which is nice. But when it's released in the shops, I think the price is going to come down to what it was in Ireland. Where, yeah. you know, about 25 euro, 25 quid. Yeah, something around that ballpark figure. Six cans for about 14 pound. You know, just two pound a can, really, about there. Yeah. Uh, and your glasses, well, obviously, you know, speak to a, a nice landlord. They might sell you a couple. <laughs> yeah. Please don't steal them, because the pub I go to has hardly got any left, because people are stealing the glasses. So if you are out there stealing glasses, please take them back to the pub. We need them when we go. Yeah. 
We need proper glasses. Yeah, nothing worse than getting served your pint in a John Smith's glass. Oh, nothing worse. No. no. Nothing worse. You have to hold your hands around it like that all night. Yeah. Especially with us, because now, obviously, yeah. people know that we're, like, renowned Guinness drinkers. Right. We get seen in the pub with a John Smith's glass. Yeah, it's not good. People take photos and blackmail us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, and be, they will make a good Christmas present. Yeah. They will Brilliant. Be. No, we're not... By the way, we're not, like been paid to say this no, by Guinness no. <laughs> this is just our opinions we're not paid by anybody if I was in a pub and I was served that I would I would I would go in the sevens you're probably right though Charlie maybe 7.5 I don't know yeah I'm going to go for a seven actually because right. I'm thinking of pints we reviewed in pubs yeah and I felt like it would be a disservice to give this any higher than a seven right because well. you know I'm thinking I'm going back to Norton's Digbuff we gave that a 7.5 did we I'd rather be drinking that than this I'll be honest this was really creamy. It is I, creamy. I love that creamy bit about it. It is lovely. It's not far off. Maybe a 7.3. I'm 7.3 in it. I'm 7.5 in it. So there you go. Seven. We'll meet in the middle. We'll say 7.4 then. 7.4. Um, For a can Guinness, that is bloody good. Yeah. And obviously it does depend on how you pour it and how you yeah. keep, keep it temperature You'll get the hang of it. you get the temperature right. You clean glasses and you pour. Big secret is when you buy these cans... Shove them in the fridge, leave them there for 24 hours. I know that's going to be difficult, leaving cans in a fridge for 24 hours, but please do. Let them settle, let them get to the right temperature, and you'll have the best pint. If you like this, follow us, like yeah. us, share it with your mates. Subscribe. And hopefully, you might get one of these off Santa. Yeah. Yeah. Never know. There you go. Good luck, guys. Yeah. Cheers. All the best. Yeah.